Hey, Northridge Community Church, Buddy Gozi here, and want to get you caught up on week three of our Game On series, where uh, this week we looked at Candyland. And Candyland is bar none, probably the most frustrating game in the history of the world because there's really no strategy to it. You flip a card, and whatever you get, that's where you move your piece. And at the end of the day, you can plan and strategize all you want, but it really just kind of comes down to the cards. And uh, we talked about that's how life can kind of feel sometimes. We feel like uh, we can strategize and plan all we want, but at the end of the day, it's kind of hard to catch a break and we can find ourselves in hopeless situations, uh, questioning if God has a plan for our lives. And, and we talked about the importance of, of not just trying to uh, get to an end goal, but also uh, being present in the process um, throughout it. So it's not always just about the result, but it's just as much about the process and how God calls us to be present in His redemptive plan that He has for us. So um, in view of that, we, we talked about God's uh, plan for our life that we we know that He has a plan for our life and the good news of the gospel and our security and our position in Christ that we have in eternity should drive us to a faith that is uh, present in the process um, through our lifetime no matter where we find ourselves so that we can find purpose in the good and the bad. So in view of that, we looked at a beautiful promise in Jeremiah 29 11, that God has plans for us to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future, uh, but that was only half the good news. The other good news is that we have a purpose in the process leading up to the fulfillment of that promise. So we looked at the verses in Jeremiah 29 verses 4 through 10 leading up to the promise, which is a command given by God to His people to be present in Babylon as they are there for 70 years in exile before He brings them out of that and fulfills that promise for fulfillment. So from there we talked about the importance of, of not just seeking to, uh, to get through and survive our difficult situations, but to actually try and thrive in the Lord uh, during our, our, our exile, our Babylon, the times that we find ourselves in uncomfortable situations. And, and it would have been very easy for Israel in this time in exile to try and either accommodate to the culture or to try and isolate themselves from the culture. But instead of doing one of those two things, they were called to engage the culture, to seek the prosperity of the culture, to try and uh, pray and better the people around them because the Lord said, if the city prospers, that they too will prosper. So from there, we talked about what does it mean to be a people that engages the culture around us, this pluralistic society that we live in America right now. What does it mean to try and seek the prosperity of our city uh, using the good news of the gospel to, to bring life change, not only in ourselves, but the people around us. So uh, I hope that you use some time this week to think about what it means to engage our city, to be present in the process, and also hold on to the, the future hope that we have in Christ Jesus. So we talked about the, the bottom line this week is that true faith in God's plan is reflected by a faith that engages our culture. I pray that we can always be a people that, that uses our faith to engage the culture as we wait um, for the redemptive plan of Jesus Christ to unfold. So join us next week. Uh, thank you all so much and hope you have a great week.